Hello my crazy beautiful Verticonians, Vertico here once again for another episode of Jurassic World The Game. And in this episode we're going to be doing a, a concoction of two different events that's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fun, don't you think? <laughs> Guys, if you're enjoying this series, make sure to drop a like down below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and join my crazy beautiful Verticonian army, which is slowly but surely growing and growing. Nearly at 6k now, guys. Let's push the good push. Right, guys, we're going to go ahead and do the race, the race that I know you all love to do. And that race is the race of me deleting two of these fountains in the time it takes you to go from full screen video. It has to be full screen to liking the video. You have to be in full screen, guys, and much stress that. Press escape for a quick button out or anything like that. I'm more than happy with that, but you need to be in full screen. You can change the playback speed, and the options are down below, but make sure you're playing legitly, guys. Don't be a D-bag. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get it started, guys. I've got to delete two of these by the time it takes you to go... Foot, wait, to like the video. <laughs> so three, two, one, go! Right, oh crap, no, 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 no. Oh no, I, oh, what an absolute plonker. First and foremost, I missed the first one because I had my arm on my knee rather than on the actual phone. And then, unfortunately, the second one, I didn't press sell quick enough. So you guys have probably beat me. If you have, drop a comment down below. If I still beat you, make sure you tell me, guys. And uh, try it on a different speed, maybe slower if you've... Uh, Lost to me, but if you beat me, try it on a bit of a faster speed, because I think going to speed at that, you can still probably beat me. So give it a go. Right, guys. Before we go any further, then, we're going to go ahead and have a look at these two events. I actually predicted it'd be a Mosasaurus tournament this weekend. I was wrong. I predict that maybe we should see it Sunday, as opposed to today, to be quite frank. That's my next prediction, and I'll stick to it for now. So it's all good. Right, um, what we'll do is I'm going to do the... Ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. More teeth or Monsters of the Deep? More teeth, Monsters of the Deep. More teeth one we've not done yet. Uh, filmed on camera, so I'm going to do more teeth. Right. Let's start off with some reasonably powerful thingy majiggy. So, we want a Carnotaurus, Suchomimus, and a Suchomimus. Uh, that's reasonable. Only cost 1 million coins, as you guys can see. I've been pretty much hoarding my coins recently because I'm a little hoarder. Yes. And this battle's going to be very easy. <laughs> right, so. My main injection at the moment is just saving up coins. I'm actually getting loads of coins from um, a certain type of uh, item or objects. The buildings which give me at least 30% bonus as well or have a minimum of 30% bonus that way I'm uh, counting towards the mission and I should be able to get max 65 soon and when the oh why did I just do that I thought I had a block of four I, like I thought it would stop me at four I don't know why I thought that but hey ho um but in the um for leveling up then when the next day up comes update comes I should have enough I'm gonna keep buying what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep buying and placing loads of um Hammond statues so when the update comes about I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get more of them <laughs> so I can sell them and get more and sell them and get more basically really good sort of level boost sort of thing that can happen at the time of the update so we're gonna wait for it to really release it's not actually even there we go he's gonna go full out I knew he would um you're not even close to coming out yet that's the next update I don't think at least I think the Mosasaurus tournament then we'll have the um Aquatic, up, aquatic hybrids and more aquatics and then we'll have all the new tournament creatures that's my opinion on the next sort of um that's what i'm looking for wave i guess or phase of jurassic world the game at least that's what i think so let's move on all right so we've got an allosaurus you guys may notice you've got banners to the side at the moment one day these will be pretty little banners all customized and my own for the meantime i have no idea what i pick so have fun with them <laughs> Right, um, it's only because it basically stops the quality of the videos from dropping so much because I'm condensing the video file or the, or the video screen onto a smaller sort of um, thing rather than stretching it because when it stretches to its width, it, it just really looks a bit naff. So hopefully it'll look a bit better. I might do a bit of colour correcting on it as well. So, you know, it looks alright. First battle is a go-go. 300 DNA. I have managed to replenish my DNA after spending so much of it. Um, you'll actually see I've got two Impotarx Pelters currently working on the way, so that when the next episode, which I'll probably film on Sunday or Monday, probably Tuesday actually, um, actually, no, I don't know, I've got plenty of things already filmed that I want to put up, but just because some updates come out in ARC tonight, I want to film, but I don't know if I'll be able to, because I think it'll be past the time of when I can record, and I have to update ARC as well, which takes its own forever. Might play it tonight though, have a bit of fun, get the grappling hook, film it tomorrow, you guys will love me for it, I love the idea of it, I'll do it. That's plans already sorted. <laughs> I'm also going to download XCOM 2 and do a playthrough of that. Also got a playthrough of Lego, um, what's it called, Lego Avengers already on its way. So you guys are in for a treat at the moment. Let's get back onto track and get a thingamajig battle start. So we'll go Serata, um, no we do not want our on. We'll go Serata, Demet no, yeah, Demetrodon, Serata and T-Rex. And that way we've got a nice reasonable mixer dixit. He needs to go for two to kill me, so it doesn't really matter what happens now, because he's not going to go for full-out attacks because it's an event creature, not a tournament battle. Uh, not an event creature, sorry, it's an event, not a tournament. So basically I just got to use my sort of um, 
hindsight and previous experience with these battles, I must say the mic's not picking up any background noise and it's picking this up quite quietly and I'm being really close to the mic. So what I might do is I might have to add some volume. If you hear a bit of a distortion in the audio, the audio is poo, I apologise, I have no idea what's going on. Go for four reserves and two blocks because two attacks he's going to be blocking exactly perfect. Right, um, at this point he's got five then, I can kill him in probably four, I'm thinking four. So if I go five attacks at this point, so I'm presuming he's going for one block, so five, let me have a look, will four kill him? It will indeed eat, so let's go for five, and three reserves. Was I right? I was! This is the experience, guys. <laughs> Sends out Rajasaurus, which I believe has a higher attack or lower attack? Higher attack, but lower health, that's fine. Um, this thing's actually pretty beastly super rare, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I really wish I kept some of my super rares. I am investing in all of my rares, super rares, legendaries, all of them, guys, so don't worry about that. He went for quite a lot, actually. He must have gone for at least, um five so i think he has one block i wasn't paying attention so my bad right three will kill him so if we go for one on top there's four attacks three whoa okay he had eight and he went for five i'm an idiot essentially right so now he's got four i'm hoping he doesn't do it if he doesn't so he's probably got two blocks right so if he's got two blocks if we were to kill him in oh we have to give for three so we could five and then give for two reserves He's gone for two blocks, just like I thought he would. So it sends in Sukumimus level 40, which is going to be packing a hell of a punch, essentially. Fortunately, Ceratosaurus is a health tank, and could probably take, oh, I think two, maybe three will kill him. In which case, five or six, he's going to better confirm, and he didn't. Okay. What we're going to do then is we're going to go for four reserves and two blocks, to be quite frank. And I'll find out how much it does need to kill me, if he does go for it, I hope. I hope he goes for five or six. That way I'll know. Six. Okay, I will never know now because five. Actually, I should have said I just wanted five. Thanks, but he's got two blocks essentially. Six attacks from a T Rex is definitely going to slaughter his booty. So, let's get this show on the road. T T F N, my friend. T T F N. That's the T Rex turning him into fecal matter. So let's move right along. Okay, and the final battle. I'm hoping my final team can deal with him, him, them, pretty swiftly. That's basically 900 DNA in one event. Another two events. That's two. That's about 1800 worth of DNA I can get without even opening the pack. That is pretty damn crazy. Yeah, we're gonna go um in order, of course. 20, 10, 30. Because of course they're different levels. It's it, it makes sense. Um, right, three can kill him. Uh, let's get to the point where he only goes for one block and essentially sacrifice this guy the T-Rex. Oh my god, that's a 30 Indominus. Okay, the Indominus, I'm gonna have a look to see how much it fares up against Trudon attack-wise. Trudon and health's not gonna even come close, but I'm really interested. He's got two, he's not gone for any of it, so he's probably gone for two... Ah, oh, no, this would probably have been the ideal time to have gone for it, like I thought. But, oh well, let's move on. And I've only ever had two reserves and it wouldn't have been worth it, so he's probably gone for two blocks at this point. So if we go for five... That should kill him. Yeah. And then three reserves. I believe he's gone for two blocks. He's gone for three. Crap. On a breadstick. <laughs> so he's got one more health life um, attack based in him. He can't kill me. He can kill me too. So he goes full out. I'm wrong. But that's fine. He's now gone full out. I can now get rid of him quite easily. And Dominus could hopefully also then get rid of T-Rex afterwards. And then I can get rid of um, uh, the Indominus with Trudon. All bodes well. Right. So we go for one. What mac they're gonna go for four reserves essentially? Oh, does it was there only one? Let me have a look. Let me think. It would have only been one. Oh, there's no risk in doing it. I, I can't remember, and that's my fault, so I'm gonna go for another attack. Um he's not gonna attack me anyway, so at this point he's probably gonna go for two or three reserves. Uh, two or three blocks, sorry. So um I'm gonna have to go for when in doubt, go above. So I'm gonna go for three. Uh, the assumption is going for three, go for five attacks, three reserves, and essentially seven will secure Trodon, so five attacks, three reserves. He went for nothing. Okay, maybe not secure trade on them. Depends on how much he attacks me with now. The Indominus is probably going to have like 800. No, no, he has 1456. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Um, <laughs> which means I really want to focus my Indominus soon. So he's actually, I wasn't paying attention, but I know for a fact I should be. Oh, he's got 3.8k health. I don't know if I can kill him, actually. Um, Guys, I wasn't paying attention. At the very least, he has three blocks. So four, can four kill it? Yeah, no, he's lost. He's fine. <laughs> so we had three blocks. That's not too bad, essentially. Jeez, that was close. <laughs> okay, and then we go for the seven. Wins it out with a level 30 Shrodon, which I love to so very much. Um, and puts it in perspective of how powerful that Indominus is. Jesus. Um, well, food, not that much needed, but we'll take it. Buck's definitely happy with 
food once again. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it on the chin. Essentially, it's always good to have food. Uh, at the moment, I'm getting my food and buck uh, coins up quite highly, so that's not too bad. How far am I off from that mission anyway? Two point three nine eight mil. So it's not too bad. Essentially, we're getting closer and closer. Uh, let me have a look. Really. How about now? Is that, is that two point four? Yep. So only one hundred thousand away now. And that basically secures me a level 66, uh, 65 max, because I'll do that. Then I'll uh, place some of these old John Hammonds down. I'll also redo this, because this looks a bit naff at the moment. Um, and then hopefully when it comes to the update, we'll have plenty ready, so that I can get up to level 70 straight away, unless it's level 66 or level 75 or something stupid like that. Anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed the video today, make sure to drop a like down below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and join my beautiful, 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 beautiful people. And if you didn't enjoy the video, feel free to dislike, but do tell me why. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day, and ta -ra!